Okay, so this episode actually shook me just a little bit. I just was not expecting the person who went home to leave. Like, I really was not expecting it to end so soon. This episode is a good one, y'all. Let's get into it. So as per usual, we open up episode 10 with everyone coming back to camp after the last tribal council. Of course, some people were upset that they were left out of the bow and that they were blindsided. Aww. I know, so sad. But other people like Carson just simply cannot relate. Everyone is saying this was such a chaotic tribal and like no one really knew the plan. I knew the plan. <laughs> I love being able to make up lies about people who are in this game to defend themselves. It's wonderful. See, it's the little moments like these that make me feel very confident in the Tika 3. Next up, it is time for the reward challenge, which is a competition of balance. We see that Franny ends up impressing everyone by winning her third challenge of the season. After winning, she ends up picking three other players, all of them moms, to join her on the reward. Since part of this reward includes receiving letters from home and from family. I'm guessing that's why Franny decided to go with the emotional choice and choose other parents. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure Danny is a parent too and she totally left him out. So there's that. Either way it goes, the strategy could have been a good opportunity to secure trust and create bonds with the others. But as we see, it doesn't exactly go like that. The fact that Franny is such a freaking comp beast means that she's going to have to do a lot more than just be be kind to others to avoid being a target unfortunately. Which makes me kind of wonder if she would have been better off just like throwing this competition all together or just not winning in general. I don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments. So at the reward challenge once everybody reads their letters and does the obligatory crying it's time to get down to business. There is a little bit of strategy talk going on but it mainly revolves the ladies priming Danny as their main target. Tomorrow we're gonna win it. Oh, I thought you were saying vote Danny out. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I'm down for it. Meanwhile, back at the losing camp, it's actually Franny who is the main target, mainly because of her competition wins. Look, I love Franny. She was at the top of my winners list for a reason, okay? But I totally understand anybody else seeing her as a threat in the game because of those competitions. And honestly, I can't blame anybody at all for wanting to target her there. I mean, she probably has some of the biggest winner potential out of everybody. So with all of this drama floating around, it is now time for the players to head off to the immunity challenge. In true survivor fashion, it all comes down to the puzzle, which makes it no surprise when Carson ends up winning immunity. It doesn't really matter because Carson, for whatever reason, is just not a target out there at all. I don't know why, but this man is hiding in plain sight. However, he is still safe for now. So this seems to leave Franny as the main, main target with Danny following closely behind. These two are easily the biggest comp threats out there, so it totally makes sense to me. However, what I was not expecting is the Jamie of it all. Now, if you all remember, Jamie had that fake idol that she thought was real, but it ended up getting voted out of the game, so it doesn't really matter except for the fact that it does because it's still currently ruining her game right now. So anyway, Jamie tries to come clean about this whole situation and just be completely open and honest in order to gain everyone's trust. But it completely backfires. I mean, she just fails miserably at this. Absolutely brutal. Lying and keeping secrets is the name of the game, but it's a lot of weight on your chest. So. I love being honest. <laughs> yeah, that story's total BS. It's honestly put her more on my radar because it's like, wow, she's good. But now apparently everybody thinks that Jamie is some sort of strategic mastermind manipulating liar and they all want her out. Either way it goes, things are a hot ass mess as we head into tribal council. The tribal council itself is pretty standard, you know, Jamie is again bringing up her whole fake idol fiasco. 
Jeff is trying to get everyone to speak in metaphors, you know the vibes, the usual. The players then go off to vote, and after no idol or any advantage plays, we see that Franny is ultimately the one that is voted out. Damn. This one really upset me, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I really did have Franny at the top of my winners list, but it's probably for that reason that she had to be the one to go. I mean, I said it before and I'll say it again. I really think that at that moment, Franny probably had the biggest winner potential out of everybody in the game. But I still think Danny is the next biggest threat out there and they should be coming for him next. We'll see. So of course, I'm interested to know what did you all think of this episode? Do you think that voting out Franny was the right choice to make here? Let me know in the comments below. With Franny out of the picture, I'm still looking at Carolyn and even Carson at the top of my winners list. I can definitely see one of the two of them making it to the finals for sure. We are so close to the finish line, y'all, and I cannot wait to see what's next. I'll talk to y'all later, but until next time, peace.